Now I'm going to show you how to use Minitab to perform a one-way analysis of variance similar to the one that we did with Excel, but we'll use some of the additional features of Minitab to uh, glean more information from the data. So let's go to Minitab. We'll use the same data, which is our growth data based on treatments. And this time we're going to do a one-way analysis of variance. So we'll go to the Stat menu and then down to the ANOVA menu, and we want to do one-way analysis of variance. And the response that we're interested in is growth, and the factor we're interested in is treatment. So we have various options. We're going to assume equal variances, and we've learned how to test this hypothesis before. Uh, Two-sided confidence interval, we're interested in a difference in either direction. The comparisons is something different. So now we're going to do comparisons of the different treatment means to one another. So we're in Excel. We just looked at the difference between the smallest average and the largest. With Minitab, we can also compare the differences between groups that are less than the smallest to the largest. So let's just pick one of these for simplicity. The Tukey test. We'll look at an interval plot and grouping information. This is going to give us some pictures that we can use to help make sense of the data. And we'll click OK. And we also have options to uh, do different graphs of residuals. These are covered in other lessons, results in storage. And we'll not change those for now. We'll just do the analysis with the information that we have. So let's go first to the session window. And we're looking at a one-way analysis of variance of growth versus, growth versus treatments. We looked at three treatment levels. And again, as we saw with Excel, the p-value is much smaller than 0.05, indicating that the smallest mean and the largest mean <coughs> are significantly different than one another. This shows, uh, as Excel did, for each treatment, the the um, descriptive statistics, sample size, mean, standard deviation, and so on. But now we have something additional. We have the pairwise comparisons. So what Tukey does, the Tukey test, it tells us the different groups that we have. So basically treatment three with a mean of 15.533 is in a group all by itself. We call that group A. Treatments 1 and 2 are in their own group, so they're significantly different than treatment 3, but they're not significantly different from one another. Now let's look at an analysis, uh, a graphical analysis of this information. Over here we see that we're comparing the mean of 1 and 2, and that mean does include 0. So uh, treatment 1 versus treatment 2, there is no significant difference. Treatment 1 versus 3, that interval does not include zero. So there are uh, significant differences between treatments 1 and 3, and also between treatments 2 and 3, because the interval does not include zero. We also get an interval plot. So this shows us the average for each treatment level and a 95% confidence interval around that average. So again, we can see graphically the treatments 1 and 2 are relatively close to one another, but treatment 3 is in a group all by itself. So Minitab gives us information that would be uh, rather challenging to get without statistics software with the spreadsheet. 